So what should my seed bed look like? This planting was done in February, and I'm gonna show you another one later in this video that was also done in February. And there are four plantings. The difference is this is an old field. And while this was completely bare ground, except for the old corn stalks from our cover crop, um, other than that, this was bare ground when I planted this field. All of this green stuff you see for the most part is annual weeds, a lot of broadleafs, there's some foxtail already, different things. But my sunflower is here as well. Here's a sunflower seedling right here next to these other annual and perennial weeds. Here's another sunflower that's quite a bit bigger. But there's gonna be a lot of competition in this planting and that's what we expect from old fields is a lot of competition. And that's why we talk about having that seed bed prepared to get everything off to an even start. What you won't find out here is big perennial plants that are gonna compete with a developed root system. There may be seedling perennials that have come up, but no perennials that already grew last year. So this is the other planting we did. Uh, this was all in timber and we decided to log this. It was ready to harvest and we had a grinder come in and grind up the undergrowth and what wasn't suitable for logs and take the stumps out. So you can see a lot of trash from the grinding. But what I really want to show you is the seedlings here in this area and how there's a lot less of the weed competition that you've seen in the other field. So this here is a wild annual bean that we planted here for seed production. Uh, this is a button blazing star seedling coming up from seed production. Uh, here's a rosin weed. There's a little hairy mountain mint seed just coming up, just a little bitty green speck. The point is though, there's not a lot of other annual weeds growing in this environment because uh, the understory of the trees kept everything shaded and it hasn't been making seed and putting it in the seed bank in the soil for a long time. So uh, woodlands are a great place for establishments if you're wanting to remove those trees already. This was Cole Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost. Any questions, comments, post them below.